Welcome to math window. Comparing which is larger, 1.005 to power of 200 or 2. Of course, we know that this number is much more complicated than 2. There are three digits after the decimal point. How should we do it? Now we should try writing this number, this base, as a fraction. Because 0 0.005, it can be written as 1 divided by 200. So now, 1.005 all to the power of 200, it is equal to, or it can be regarded as 1 plus 1 over 200, or to the power of 200. Now, I'm going to write some of them. The first one, I'm going to write it down. The second one, these 200 numbers are the same. 1 plus 1 over 200, so just write some of them. Now I have a question. How many 1 plus 1 over 200 here? Of course, 200, because the exponent is 200. We have already analyzed this number, which on the left hand side. Now we should analyze these two. This is the multiplication of 200 numbers. Can 2 also be written as this form? We don't know. Maybe, or maybe not. This is a product of 200 numbers. Of course, now I'm going to write this 2 as 400 and then divided by 200. This 2 is 400 and then divided by 200. I'm going to write this as First, the denominator is 200, and the numerator, I write it as 201. And then times the second one, the second fraction, the denominator is 201 because, therefore, I can cancel them. And the numerator is 202, the third one. The denominator is 202, therefore I can cancel this 202, and the numerator is 203. For the first term, it is 204 divided by 203. So now, and the last, or the number, which before the last one, the numerator is 399, and the denominator is 398. And the last term is, guess what? The denominator is 399 just as this, therefore I can cancel it. And the numerator, 400. A question, how many fractions or how many numbers are here? How many numbers are in this product? One hundred ninety-nine? No, it is 200. Why? But 399 minus 200 is 199. Why not 199 but 200? Because the subtraction of 399 and 200 is 199. But how many numbers are here? The denominator of the first number is 200 and the denominator of the last number is 399. You should let 399 subtract 200 and then plus 1. Because 200 is also a number that we should think of. So there are 200 numbers. And this term is equal to 2 because cancel, 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 and cancel, so on. This cancel, 
cancel, cancel. So what's left? 400 on the numerator and 200 on the denominator. And the division of 400 and 200 is 2, just like this. Now, we have a problem. How should we write this term as the form this? The first one, the first one, 201 divided by 200, it is 1 plus 200, 1 over 200. Is the same as this. The second one, it is 1 plus, the second one is 1 plus 1 over 201. And the third one, 1 plus 1 over 202. Until 1 plus, here is 1 over 398. And then times 1 plus 1 over 399. Very good. And then what should we do? Since from the second factor, the denominators are always bigger than the denominators from here. But you should remember that when two fractions have the same numerator, for example, a, and they have different denominators. This is b, this is c. And if b is greater than c, and then the value of the fraction a over b, it is smaller than the value of the fraction a over c. You have to remember this. It is very important. 1 over 200 is always bigger than 1 over 201. Also, always bigger than 1 over 202 until 399. And in every factor, there is plus 1, plus 1. That means this one is always bigger than this one. The term which is in blue is equal to 2. And the term which in brown is equal to 1.005 to the power of 200. So, we can get the answer. 1.005 to the power of 200 is always bigger than 2. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.